guys, welcome back to another video. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna do point guard Lamelo Ball. Um, so I did everything. You can pause from the beginning and look at it if you want to. I know it was quick. Um, but I'm gonna do. This is pretty much. I'm gonna try to make it as close to Lamelo Ball as I possibly can, just like I did with my Shaq build. So first of all, I'm gonna do the playmaking and um, shooting pie chart only. I'm not worried about my driving dunk at all because uh, when I do my physical attributes, you'll see why. I'm not worried about my defense either because I'll be a pretty good height, so I'll be able to play defense either way. And the only thing I'm worried about a little bit on this build is the defensive badges. And based on what, I, what I've seen some of my friends make, you're going to have the same amount of defensive badges anyway. On like most builds because they, I don't know why they, they some builds they really... 2K really, the um, they took away from defense and finishing on uh, many builds, many builds. So I'm trying to make as close to Lamelo Ball as I can. Of course, I'm gonna max out the shooting, max out the playmaking. After all, he's 6'8 in real life and he's a point guard. So this is basically like a a, a Magic Johnson almost, but I can't get to 6'10. 6'8 is the max height you can get to, and I'm gonna make him 6'7, but I'll show you why in a sec. So I'm right now. I'm trying to get. I'm not worried about the finishing, like I said, because that one finishing badge with a 64 um, driving dunk. I'll dunk the ball, but I won't dunk in consistently where I need to have that many finishing badges. And the defense. I'm trying to see what's there, but I, the main thing is on this build. I want to have playmaking, and I want to have shooting. So right now I have 25 shooting and 22 playmaking. I'm gonna. I'm fine with that. But and of course, Lamelo Ball is in real life. He's slight. I'm gonna go 6-7 on this build, not 6-8, because 6-8, I have literally no ball control at that point. So 6-7 is perfect because I still maintain that low mid-70s to high 80s. And if they end up giving us the plus 5, like they did in 2K20, I, I would, this build would be insane at 6-7 as a point guard. And my attributes speed-wise and acceleration stuff, all of that is like pretty top tier right now as of right now for 6-7 if I was gonna go 6-4 or something of course it'd be like a 90 something 90s 96 95 maybe but I'm fine with that and his wingspan I wanna go I kinda wanna go I don't wanna go max he has a really long wingspan so I was I was gonna go close to max and his weight of course his weight his weight he's 160 pounds at 6-8 so I wanted to go close to lowest weight and then his wingspan I went about one-off um thing for takeover i feel like sh playmaking takeover would be insane on this build same as shot creating but i have to go i have to go with this one i have to go with shot creating it's the only takeover that matters and th that's it because shot creating is going to be op this year and if you guys enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and comment down below what builds you want to see next as you can see steph curry is a comparison six six seven steph curry with no driving though Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Peace. <laughs>